Hello, everyone, and welcome to Business Finance Homework Question Number Two. Assume you purchased a Verizon Corporation bond one year ago for $860.28 when the market rate of interest was at 10.3. The bond matures on January 19, 2028. Assume that there are exactly 15 years to maturity and is contracted to pay a semi annual coupons at the rate of 8.5%. Question number one. If the current market rate of interest is now 8.6, what would be the percentage change in the bond value from time you purchased until the bond time today? For this, we're going to be using our present value formula as we used in the previous question uh, in order to find out what our current rates are at. In order to do this, uh, we see that we have a semi-annual uh, the bond is paid semi-annually, so we have uh, two for there. We know that the rate is at 0 0.103 or 10.3, which is located right here. We have an MPER, uh, and this is really the trick of the whole problem. Uh, it's actually going to be set to 16, not 15, because technically you bought it one year ago today. So that's kind of the hidden trick of problem two. The coupon we set to 0 0.85, giving us a payment of 42.50. Let's highlight that formula for us here. And again, with these, we're going to divide um, by two for the adjusted rate, and we're going to multiply by two. To get that adjusted NPER. And the future value is set to a thousand, and our present value is set to eight hundred and sixty dollars and twenty-eight cents, which matches up with what is set in the problem. Now, our question lies in which uh, if the current market rate again is in an interest rate of eight point six, what would the percentage change be? We basically are just gonna copy this whole section over here. One more over, and all we're going to do is just adjust that rate down to 0 .086. As we can see, this will increase our present value up to $991.66. Uh, Oops, a little schema thing popped up there. And what we see here is that the change uh, that has occurred between these, we're simply going to subtract the previous one from the current one, giving us a difference of $131.38. Now, in order to find that percentage change, we need to highlight this cell. And we're going to be taking this change number here, this 131.38, and actually dividing that into the previous one, giving us a percentage change of 15.27. As we scroll down on the problem, we're going to be doing the exact same thing again. Uh, except we're going to be using 12.4, so everything right here stays the same. We have two for the semi-annual uh, annual option. Uh, our rate will be still at one or 0 .103. Uh, the NPER will be set to 16. Uh, the coupon is set to 0 .085. The payment at 42.50. The future value is set to 1,000, giving us at 860.28. And the only thing we're going to do is we're going to copy that over to here. And we're going to adjust the rate for that 0.124. As you can see, it gives an adjusted rate of 0 0.062. and gives us a total of $737.23. Let's just highlight that for us. Giving us a negative change this time of negative 123.05. Again, when we subtract the current or adjusted bond interest rate from the previous one, we get a negative. Uh, as you can see, it's dropped $123.05, which will give us a negative change of 14 dollars and 14.3 percent. And there's the formulas for that. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.